little bit about the high tide mark. So if we had a, a bigger swell coming in, this would get wet. Um, last winter we had swell that would have been just over our heads right here. Um, and so we had to close the pier. We had to remove all the, the, the railings here so they wouldn't get damaged. Um, and uh, But for the most part, you know, probably at least uh, 11 months of the year we can access this, you know, throughout the, throughout the day. Um, so really handy, we can launch boats with a crane up here, we put them in, and then we can, uh, there's two ladders actually behind those boards, we can enter boats right there. Um, this is our dive ladder, this has been designed, we can crank that down, and it's at a right angle, the proper angle where, you, angle where you can walk in and out with all your dive gear. So if you're diving here, you're, you have a lot of weight on, thick wetsuits, and it's, you know, it's impossible to come up a vertical ladder, but you can go up and down that. Um, yeah, so we can, we can dive right here, um, and then we can deploy instrumentation off the pier and, and, and experiments. This is uh, all these bags right here. These are uh, uh, work with uh, Dr. Kevin Johnson, our aquaculture. He's actually our Sea Grant Extension Officer, um, and his background is aquaculture, and he's working on uh, oyster propagation. And so there's oysters growing in those bags. Those are oysters that were started up in the seawater system as larvae and then uh, propagate it up and then he's growing them here. He's looking at a couple different ways uh, to hold them um, and see which they, they like to grow in better. Um, also for aquaculture, the, the shape of your oyster is really important. Uh, it's not just a matter of growing it. You have to grow it so it's, it's marketable. So the, the way people want oysters is not these big, flat, thin things, which is how they grow naturally. They want a nice kind of a roundish, Oyster, it's a, the, one of the valves or one of the, the uh, shells is flat and the bottom is nice and concave. And you have a, just the right size kind of, you know, one single bite of oyster there. Um, they're about, about that big around and, and kind of roundish. And you get that by what's called tumbling. You move the bags back and forth over the ice cycle and that breaks 